Alright, hey now, what's going on? Alright, Velvet Buttsaw. That's the next one we're covering. We're counting up all these kills. Yeah, so this woman steals a bunch of art from this guy who doesn't want his shit sold. And he haunts them all. And it's like, it reminds me of Beetlejuice, dude. Ortho and the mom and the uh, art came to life. Really? Alright, so uh, let's get it. Are you aware that Dee's asked that all his art be destroyed? Then a school tour came along. People thought she was part of an exhibit. We're trending on Instagram. It's a major hit. I don't know if it's just me, but I found Tony Collette pretty fine in this movie. I don't know, man. Maybe older chicks did. Maybe go through a phase. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she loses her arm in there. Then all the kids are like playing with it and everything. But if I was a kid visiting that, I probably thought that was cool. Like, oh, it's like a not scary farm art exhibit. Cool. All right. Then Jake Gyllenhaal has beef with this robot right here. Because I guess he gave a bad review. And the Hobeless robot did not appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to catch up with you later, motherfucker. Boxy ball. I can't save you. I can't save you. Redora. got beat up by the robot and killed to death he should have gave it a good review dude <laughs> it sort of just remind me of fighting the robot in euro trip like i don't know man you could have like tried to fight it off or something a little bit better man jake jono was jack dude fight back bro yeah then his girlfriend i don't know quasi girlfriend because he was sleeping with dudes and chick jake jono was like half broke back mountain half zodiac <laughs> in this i guess I don't know, some dudes do it that way. I don't know, man. But anyway, she got absorbed in the pain. That was cool. And then Ray Renuso's uh, fucking tattoo came to life and chopped off her head, basically. I mean, it's sort of weird, dude. That's almost like if your girlfriend's tramp stamp butterfly tattoo came to life. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, that was pretty trippy. There is some sort of power. Some spirit. Yeah, so the gender dude got it, dude. And Jake Gyllenhaal starts snooping around, finding out stuff about the artists and shit like that. So, yeah, that was pretty neat. It reminds me of sort of like Mugatu and they found out about Zoolander. <laughs> you went crazy and created the piano necktie. That's what this movie reminds me of. Like a horror movie version of Zoolander, just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, hangings are pretty cool in movies. Even though I don't think you can hang yourself with a scarf. Or it could be like, maybe he was changing that light bulb and it was like a scarf-related uh, mishap. But, oh yeah, I forgot about that guy, dude. That guy, he, he's the one who started this whole thing. So she found a dead guy and then went to his apartment and found all this art that he did. And then they started to sell his art. And I guess that's what started this whole chain of events. 
Personally, I thought the Ghostbusters 2 painting was a bit scarier than stuff in this movie, but... Alright, whatever. So that is six... Wait, seven kills all in the whole movie. And Jalen Hall crushes it in this movie, though. Even though it's probably, like, whatever you could say about it, but... He definitely damn commits and gives full... 100% Jalen Hall. <laughs> Alright, so if you like that, subscribe for some more kill counts, and I will see you later. This is a slaughterhouse. Are you aware that Dee's asked that all his art be destroyed? <laughs> Get rid of it. Box it off.